Hey everybody, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and we're going to continue on tonight using our canvases that we pulled off the frames. Um, come on in, have a seat and if you're watching replay, thank you for watching. You can have a seat too and let's just craft and make something. There's people popping on. Yay! It's Thursday night, guys. Come on in and have a seat. There's a seat for everybody. <laughs> so I'm hoping I'm going to get to see comments because I think it's kind of, Facebook's kind of being glitchy today. Hey, Tammy. Yay, I got comments. Yes, it's hat night. <laughs> um, hey, Arlene. Arlene, I hope you're feeling better. Bless your heart. I, I totally understand my heart goes out to you. And I, um, I totally understand. Um, hey, Carol and Lou and Dana. All my friends are coming in the house. Yay, yay. Y'all come sit at my table. I got a big table. Not really, but it's a big table. Y'all can all just come sit down. <laughs> hey, Sandy and Jill. Hey, everybody. So excited. Hey, Sue. And I didn't even grab the little ornaments we did the other night. But anyway, it's okay. Hey, Tina from New York. Long way from me. Oh, this color. You like my shirt? This is from um, my friend uh, Misty Money. And her page is called Six Money's Creations. And she does the t-shirt uh, club thing. So, um, this one I got a month or so ago. But you can also get it on her site. You can just get the shirt if you wanted it. Hey, Jerry. Thank you. Hey, Glenda. And Stephanie. I almost missed that one. Hey, Angie from Illinois, and there's Judy. It's so good to see you, too. Uh, Arlene, I'm right there with you. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I got my besties picture right up there, and every time I go live, I'm just like, yep. So it's not a day goes by that I don't think about her or something, and I'm gonna get all teary, so I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Um, Hey Judy, yes, it's crafting time. Shirley, we are gonna we're gonna continue with um, you know we made those lanterns last week, and then Tuesday night I've um, I reused the uh, canvas pieces that I took off the frames to make those lanterns because I didn't want to throw them away. Oh, Donna, you're fine. <laughs> Catherine, I don't. I just I let it roll off because it's. You know, no, nothing's happened personally. I was just commenting on Summer's post that she had posted. Hey, Jenny and Connie. Yes, y'all come sit at the table. Hey, Cheryl. Uh-oh, Cheryl's in the hospital. Bless your heart. I hope you feel better. Uh, yes, Tanya, she is. That's Tanya with the Hummingbird Paintery, my friend. Uh, Nori, I don't have a new shirt. I've worn this one several times because I got it back... I don't know, a month or so ago. But her t-shirt club is like, you you don't know what you're getting. So every month you open the box and it's a surprise because you have any I don't have a clue of what it's going to be. So it's like Christmas every month. Oh, Charlene's working on her lantern. Yay! So then you'll have these little canvas pieces to do something with. And that's what we're going to do tonight. I did something, I did a Christmas craft with them Tuesday night. So if you didn't see that, and I, my little ornaments, I've put them up somewhere where I can't reach them. And I would show them to you. Um, but you can go back and watch the replay from that. Um, and I don't know if y'all were uh, in, if y'all are in my group, I put Carol with Be Inspired with Carol. I put her live in the group today too because she saw me use the canvas, the rest of the canvas. And she had some left from something she did. So she actually did a craft with the canvas too. So if you... Um, if you want to go back and look at Carol's stuff, what she did today was phenomenal. I'm just gonna tell you, it was awesome. But it was a Christmas craft, but it could be made for any time of the year. Um, but y'all gotta go see what she did today. So she used the canvases too, and so now I'm doing it tonight too. Oh, Jennifer, we are, we'll definitely say a prayer for you on the 29th, you're having open heart surgery. Bless, bless. Lori, the church behind me is made from Everything from the Dollar Tree. This is that beach sign. This is a house little sign that had a frame around it and I took the frame off. Those are those tiles that I painted and waxed. These are craft sticks, crosses. I painted that little uh, laser cross that you can buy in those packs. 
and craft sticks, and then just a little piece of greenery. But everything is from the doll store. I said, this is that piece of greenery. So anyway, so yeah, go check out what Carol did, um, what she did today. And her page is Be Inspired with Carol. And it's going to blow y'all away because I was like, oh, I will be doing that. <laughs> um, yes, that's the new gnome behind me. I've been cutting those out all day today. Um, that's going to come out. And um, some other things I've been working on. It's just today I feel like I have chased my tail. And y'all, my eye, my eye has been watering so bad. I went to the eye doctor yesterday and he told me, oh, it looks like it's just allergies. So if you see me wiping my eyes, it's because... This eye just wants to water. And he said it's allergies, so he gave me some drops, and, you know, we'll see. Hey, Karen. Oh, yes, Kim, it was awesome. I saw you on there. It was awesome what she did. So, y'all have to go see it. Um, but she did use these, but she used a bigger one, okay, because she had used a big, like, 16 by 20, and she cut it down. But you'll have to go see what she did. But it is Christmas. But now, what I'm doing tonight is not going to be Christmas with these. Um... Because I wanted to do like a Christmas and then I'll, now I'm going to do an everyday craft. Um, hey, Denise. Okay, so I'm going to use probably, I, I've already kind of messed with this one. Um, just because when it tore off of my, off the frame or when I tore it or whatever. Hey, Candy. Hey, Sandy and Jean. It tore even, but you can tear it, cut it, whatever you want to. So I'm going to be using... I think that's the five by seven size, yeah. Um, hey, Janie. <laughs> can I show the gnome up close? Yes, I can. And that's just a little paper sunflower that I have that I put on him to make him look fallish. Yeah, Kathy, he told me it wasn't dry eye. He said they looked real allergic because he looked in my eyes and did all that stuff. Um, Mary Lou, it was, wasn't it? All right, let me set him back where he goes. So there he is. Hey, Kim. Oh, you're having surgery on your eye on the 18th, Alice. Bless you. That's that's kind of weird, somebody messing with your eye. Um, but yeah, it'll. I have drops, allergy drops for him now. So I take two allergy medicines a day. I don't know what the deal is. But anyway, I have floaters too, Helen. I've had them for a long time. Okay, so we're also going to be using a embroidery hoop. And I, I left the sticker on it because I wanted y'all to see. This was like 59 cents at, um, at Goodwill. When I see these at Goodwill, I always buy them. Always. Um, 104 today. Sit outside and lose weight. I wish it was that easy. Ugh, my eyes watering, y'all. Hey, Phyllis from North Texas. Okay, so I'm going to use this. Let me see what size it is because I know somebody's going to ask. So I'll tell you how big it is. I guess it's like 7 inch. I don't really know how to measure it if I measure it from the outside or the inside. or. So it's about 7 inches across. Joan, I've always had allergies and they're really bad. Um. Okay. So... Um, we are going to, we're going to, this is kind of like going to be this part and then we're going to do some other stuff too. Okay. So he's a first time watcher. So Tara must be a first time watcher. Welcome Tara. I hope you hang around and see what's happening. There's lots of stuff on my page. You can go check out. Um, so there's videos, those those, that's right there, the church, that vase, all that's on my page. Um, okay, so I'm going to, we're going to wax it up tonight. So I'm going to wax this while we're sitting here chit-chatting. Oh, April, you got your box. Good. BJ, yes. I always, oh, there's another sticker on there. Um, I always buy them when I see them because in, in the thrift store, they're really inexpensive but they're not expensive at Walmart or Hobby Lobby or JWANS. Um, I like to use the little ones at Christmas time. Okay, got that off. Now my eye's gonna water down my face. Um, hey, Sharon. Yeah, why do you need so many hoops if you don't do embroidery? And I think this one, it looks like it's bamboo. I don't know. 
because some of them are wood, some of them are bamboo, you know, it looks different. So we're gonna see if this wax is gonna take, it's gonna stay on here or not, so we'll have to see. Yeah, it's be inspired with Carol, like be with a B-E-E, -E, like, a, like a bumblebee. That's her page, and um, she did an awesome, awesome craft. Kind of sort of like what I did the other night with the ornaments, but she did it on a bigger scale. Uh, but it looks so good. Okay. So y'all have to go see what she did because I was just like in amazement. I was like, no way, I'm going to do that. <laughs> um, so I'm just, I don't even know. Well, I do know why I did the inside one, but because it's going to show. But this is, you know, it's kind of slick. It's not like raw wood. So we're going to see if the wax is even going to make a difference. Because it feels like, it looks like it's bamboo. So we're going to see. So I'm just, y'all know me, I've, I've got to get stuff on my hands right off the bat. All right, let's let that be dry. Look, I can't do anything without getting it all over me and bathing in it. Hey, Catherine. See, Lisa, that's what, I was worried that one of my, like, tear ducts was, was, um, stopped up because that, that'll make your eye water too and so so i'm just gonna wipe my eye but um and he said he thought they looked fine and open but he could tell by looking at my eyes that i had like irritation so um he said uh, so if it doesn't get better then we'll have to do something else but um they aren't dry i don't think <laughs> but anyway yay Jean. okay you love my shirt it's from uh my friend six Misty at Six Money's Creations. It's the number six. It's in my link tree. But I do her subscription uh, every month. I get a different t-shirt. And you don't know what you're getting. It's all a surprise. Yeah, I'm going to try not to get it on my shirt. I'll try. I get it everywhere else, though. My left pinky. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh, hold up the wax. Oh, I'm so sorry. I normally do that, and I totally forgot. It is, um, it's just the Waverly Antique Wax. Uh, I think uh, Folk Art or either Michael's brand, I think they have their own wax, too. But it's like a liquid. It's really not, it's, it's liquidy. It's not what I thought wax was going to be. Oh, this, you're working on beaded sun catchers. I bet those are pretty. They itch and burn. Now, when I get real allergic, like have a reaction to something, mine itch and burn too, and they just like swell up. But I don't know, so I'm doing these drops. And of course, I was telling my husband just a minute ago, oh, those drops are working good. My eye's not watering at all. And then I get on here and yeah, you see what happens. I don't know, it's crazy. Hey Kay, welcome back. Let me get this off of here before I get it on something. Okay, so I got my hoop done. <laughs> you love my shirt? It's um, Six Money's Creations. I'm in her little t-shirt subscription thing, so I get one every month because, y'all, I love some t-shirts now. That's what I live in. Okay, so this was a 5 by 7 and you can tell I've already practiced with it today because I, there's a big dent in it. <laughs> um, Vicki, I just have, like, allergy stuff, and it wa makes my eye water. Um... Okay, Vicki, we're using the canvases again from the other night. Because if you're making the lanterns, you know, it's four a piece. So, you're going to have a bunch of these little canvas skins or whatever we want to call them left. So, I'm trying to use them up. Um, so, anyway. So, my thought was, since we did the tissue paper and we montaged it on and did all that. And all of y'all said something about a napkin. Well, that's what I'm going to put on here. And then we're going to do something with the hoop. But I have this cute napkin. I think I got this from Lindy from Tater Bug and when I was at her house. But I'm not going to use the B. I'm going to use just this part that has the postage stamp and all that good stuff on it. Um, but I'm going to use that part. And you can see I've already used all of this part of it. So I'm going to... Okay. Because it's got like a little crown on it. And it's got some writing and a postmark and all of the goodness. 
So I'm going to use that. And let's see. And now I'm starting to think that I forgot to grab something, but I'm going to make do without it. We're going to we're going to figure it out. Oh. Hey Diane, welcome. She says I'm adorable. Bless her heart. She don't know me yet. No, she I'm kidding. Oh, you're so sweet. Okay, so as you can tell, I've already put it in my hoop, so I kind of know where my hoop is going to go because um, I played with this today to see if I could get this to, to work. Um, Holly, it does it whether I'm in this room, I'm in the house, I'm outside. It It's just the time of the year, and we have, like, bad stuff going on in the air right now up here. Um, yes, you're going to have to watch the lantern video. These are super, super easy. Super, super easy. And now all they are is frames from canvases. And then this is the rug. Uh, I don't even see it over here. Slip, the non-slip stuff that goes under rugs. And I painted it. Craft sticks for the bottom and beads for the bottom. And there you go. Dress them up for any season. Okay, so I'm going to put my mop. Now I'm using, let's see if I can get it to wear. Okay, so I'm using that linen side. Um, not the white side. I'm going to use this linen side, but you can use whatever side you want to because this is more like the clothy part and you have all those little, um, y'all know what it looks like. It's grainy and has all the little threads and stuff you can see. Um, all right. So I'm going to put my Mod Podge right on that part. This is going to be the front. And we're going to end up putting this in the hoop. And then we're going to make some stuff to go in the hoop. So y'all hang tight. Because we're going to make this cute little thing. I don't know what you want to call it. Hangy thing. So I'm just going to paint this on really good. And I hate when I look down and all y'all see is my hat. <laughs> um, and I see somebody's talking about, about losing their mom. Hey, Darlene. Um, and, um, yep, losing your mom is tough, too. Um, this November will be 10 years I've lost mine, and I can't believe that. And my, I lost my daddy three months after her, and that was the hardest time in my life, I think. Okay, this is a napkin. I just took off the little extra plies. You know, I took it off. It's just, so you'll have just one ply, and I need to kind of get... I got a little jagged edge, and now my Mod Podge is going to dry. Okay, maybe not. It's curling up, though. Stay down. Stay down. Come on. Okay, look at it. It's wanting to curl up. So I'm going to lay my napkin on, and if it gets all wrinkled up, I'm not concerned about it because I want this to look vintage. I don't want it to be exactly perfect. Um... So yeah, it kind of folded, made a wrinkle. It's wrinkling up. It's fine with me. Yeah, it's just a napkin that I got. Um, I think Lindy had used it for a craft and stuff, so she gave us some. Oh, thank you, Beth. And so um, she gave us a couple of them, and I think I've used a couple. I've used it in another project. Oh wow, Becky, you got a whole bag for two dollars. You you had a you got a deal. Oh, Nancy, it'd be a year. And I, don't, I know that some of y'all have been on here a long time and have been followers for a long time, but I don't know if y'all knew my moderator, Nancy, Nancy Taylor, um, day, the 5th, which was Tuesday. It was a year since she passed away. So she passed away a year ago, and I miss her every day. Um, she and I got really close, and she was a good Christian, sweet, godly lady, and I miss her terribly, too. All right, so now I'm just putting Mod Podge on the top. And we got to get this thing to straighten back out now so it'll act right. But I'm going to show it to you in just a second. But it does have wrinkles in it because I want it to look like that. You could iron it. You probably could iron it since it's fabric and, you know, the Mod Podge, you could definitely iron it. Okay. Let me cut this part over here off because I know I'm not going to need it. Okay. So let's see if I can get it to straighten back out once it, um, 
Yes, Lou, it was very close. Yes, Rhonda, Nancy was precious lady. And I have no doubt that she's sitting at the feet of Jesus right now. I have no doubt of that. Yes, yeah, she died right after Deidre did. Deidre died in April, and then she died in July. So, it was like, I just, I was like, oh, my goodness. Oh, Tammy, I know it's hard. It is hard. Oh, wow, Susan, you did too? The lantern, yeah, those are, I made those last Friday night, I think. So, you can go down on my um, page, and you can definitely see that. Yeah, she was so sweet. It did, Lorraine. I mean, you just don't realize how, how fast time passes. We will, Janet. I have no doubt. Yes, Barbara, she was. She was always here, and she was always cutting up and just, you know, doing her thing. And she helped me a lot, and she's a sweet, sweet, godly lady. But, yep. All right. So, I'm getting it to try to get it to dry and... Connie, we are using some more of the canvases that I took off to make those lanterns with the canvas frames. Um, also, I know, I don't think you ever get over it. I think you just kind of learn how to live without them. Yeah, I'm trying to get it to, because I don't want it rolling up. I'm gonna roll it the other way and see if I can get it to act straight. There we go. Just gotta dry. Oh, Carolyn, I'm so sorry. Hey, Robin. Hey, Nancy. I did Janice that church, and that's all Dollar Tree stuff. Every bit of it. Except for the little green wreath I made out of some piece of something I had left over from something else. But yes, I did that about a week or two ago. So you can definitely go back on my page and see it. But yes, it was, everybody had to help me on that one because that pitch of that roof and all that. Yeah, I, I'm not an architectural person, obviously. <laughs> hey, Gina. Oh, it's storming there. I wish we would get some rain. It is so hot here, y'all. It's like 100 degrees and ugh. Oh, hey, there's Carol. There's Be Inspired with Carol. There's her little name. You can click on her and go see what she did today. I was telling them, Carol, what you did and that they got to go check you out. Because I was like, what? <laughs> it was awesome. And I'm definitely going to be trying that. All right. I'm trying to get it dry and get it to not curl up on me. One of the corners. Yeah, I'm going to put the hoop so it's going to kind of... Um, That'll get cut off. It does, Roberta, it feels like it was yesterday. I know, it does. Probably melting my tablecloth. All right, it's gotta be dry now. Okay, all right, so now, yeah, I'm gonna cut that off because I can tell from where I practiced today where the, <laughs> where the hoop is gonna be because I was all playing with it today. So let me kind of see if I can get it to straight because it is warm. Okay, all right, so I've got my embroidery hoop pulled all the way out. And I'm, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, though, first, because this is bamboo. I'm just going to make sure none of this is going to come off the wax. No, not really. Pouring here in Georgia. Wow, I need some, we need some rain so bad. It's so dry and so hot here. I mean, the heat index is like 108 today. It's like you can't even open the door and it's just like Satan's just breathing on you or something. It's terrible. Okay. So, let me see if I can get it in here right. Because I'm only going to put it about halfway. So, oh, let me show y'all up close what it looks like. So, see, I got some wrinkles in it. Um, but that's okay with me because I want it to look all vintage. And But you can do this with any napkin. You don't even have to put a napkin on it if you wanted just to like paint it. I did try rubbing wax on it and it looks really cool. So I might do something else with that. Um, but yeah, you don't have to do a napkin. You can do whatever you want to, to it. Okay. So, nope, that's not right. Hold on. Hold on. Why is this so hard y'all? Hold on. <laughs> 
I don't want it to. Why? What? What am I doing wrong, y'all? And this is what I need to do. Here we go. I got it. Hey, I got it. What? I don't know what's going on. Oh gosh, we have Gina. We have humidity, and I I'm telling you, it's like Satan's breath when you open the doors, like whoosh, right in your face, and that moist, hot breath, and it's it's just it's terrible. All right, let me get it straight. I'm using my lines on my table, guys. You know, I tell y'all that's how I cheat all the time. So I want it to be about halfway, or somewhat halfway. All right, let me tighten it a little bit because I'm gonna pull it, because see, it's still kind of like not tight. And this part's coming out. Come on. All right, stop. Tell you what, let's tighten it some more. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, what in the world? And I have done cross stitch like when I was young and stuff. I don't know what came over me just then about putting this in the hoop, like what in the world? So I'm just kind of pulling it and getting it tight in this hoop the best I can without it doing that. And then I gotta keep this little thing in the top centered and it's not wanting to cooperate. So I'm just gonna take it off and start again. Okay. I didn't put enough slack on this side, I think. All right, let me tighten it up a little more. Y'all bear with me. I'm just trying to get it straight. <laughs> Satan's breath. It is that moist, hot. It's like he's just breathing on you. Okay. Let me look at it and see. I think that's pretty much straight. Now y'all can't see it actually. Okay. If I hold it away from the light, you can kind of see. So that's what I want. And if you want to put like some trim right here, you can or whatever you want to do. Um, yeah, Jane, but real humid. Like, like wet hot like just breathing in your face israel was so hot goodness i bet so okay I'm trying to see all right so i'm just tightening this up as tight as i can get it because i don't want that to come out all right so now i'm gonna trim this off what i don't want that's the easy part <laughs> get rid of the waste or whatever and you could do this for Christmas as well if you wanted to um, this could be for every day any holiday you want yeah it is a physical force it really is okay so I got all this on the back where I trimmed it off but we're gonna fix that because I want to make a pocket that's what I'm trying to do is make a pocket so I've got this I don't know, cardboard came in some scrapbook paper I've had for 20 years. I don't know. So I'm gonna make like a, um, a little back piece. And we are going to put that on the back because I'm wanting to make a pocket. Yeah, it's very hard to breathe in the humidity. Like, they'll tell you the air quality and all this kind of stuff. You know, and people that have breathing trouble to stay out, stay in, stay inside and all this stuff because you can't breathe. Kimberly, you just, I guess we just adjust to it. Okay, so I just, I just traced it. I know y'all can't even see my pencils, but pencil lines, but I'm just going to cut that out. And I'm going to kind of cut on the inside of the line because, you know, it's going to be a little bigger because I did trace the outside. But my goal is I want to make like a pocket because we are gonna make some flowers and we're gonna put flowers in it. So, and y'all seen me do some flowers before. I've got a different one tonight that I'm gonna do, but I hope this just looks as cute as I want it to as it did in my mind, but you know, we'll see. <laughs> Sometimes it don't. Okay, so now, and so this is also going to help hold that piece in because it's going to be covered with uh, glue here in just a minute. So I did cut it. Let's see. Um, let me make sure. Let me cut it some more. I'm cutting it down because I don't want it to be able you be able to see it from the back. I mean the front, I guess. So you want it to be 
see if I can hold it up. So see, that's my front piece and then my back piece. So from the front, you won't be able to see my little piece of cardboard. Um, okay. So now let's get this thing glued on here. So this will help hold that piece too that won't go anywhere because it's going to be covered with glue. I hope this turns out like I want it to. But I already made some of the flowers today and I had more fun making the flowers. I, <laughs> I like to make the flowers. But you could use foam board, any kind of cardboard, Amazon box, just whatever you have. Um, yes, drinking a lot of water. I've had like three or so of these today, I think. But I started a new diet yesterday, y'all. And y'all have to tell me if y'all have done it. Um, it's called Octavia, where you have all these little feelings that you eat all day. And then you eat a lean meal at night. And so far, I'm liking it because you just, it's packaged stuff. You just eat it and it's not bad. So it's my second day. Okay. My husband's been doing it and he's lost like 20 pounds. And I'm like, okay, I got to do it too. Um, so let me hold it over here out of the light so you can see it. So see how I like how that vintage look. But like I said, you can use any napkin you have. And I'm talking to y'all through the hoop. <laughs> um, but you could do this Christmas, whatever you want. And I know y'all got napkins. Um, hey, Denise. Container is made from the flowers. That, that is a... This is a glass vase from, like, the florist. And then... Styrofoam. These were pom-poms. Just regular white pom-poms you get at Dollar Tree or wherever. And then I painted the whole thing and so they're they're like stiff. Like anthropology in places sell these things like this for like a hundred dollars. No, we'll just make ours for for from the dollar dollar tree from the five quarter store. Okay. Alright, so here is my little hoop, my little pocket. Oh, wow, Alicia, you've lost 100 pounds? That is awesome. I started yesterday, and then somebody just said they lost 75 pounds. That's awesome. Okay, so there's that. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to put um, any foam or anything down in there. We'll worry about that when we do our flowers. So now this is, this is the fun part to me is the flowers. Um, Y'all seen me do this before. But I'm going to show you again because some people may not have seen it. 85 pounds. Gosh. Oh, you lost 10, but you had to stop. The soy was too much. It's called Octavia. Um, but you, it's like you buy like your, the food they have and they're called feelings and you eat like every two hours. And I'm like, oh, gosh, I've never ate so much in my life. And I thought I ate a lot. Um, so... Um, but it's not bad because for me, I just grab it and go and eat, you know, I don't have to cook, but once a day. Um, so anyway, so yes, we are using book pages. My little book has been well loved and used, you know, and I always get flack about tearing up books, but this was like a 25 cent book, y'all. Um, but I'm not, there's uh, Misty Money and there's Six Money's Creations. Look, Misty, I got my shirt on. She, I saw a post and she had hers on today too. And I was like, oh, I got my shirt on. So that's where you can go to her page and you can uh, join the club or you can get this shirt or whatever you want to do. Um, anyway, book pages, okay? Um, I've already got some done because they have to dry, but I'm going to show you how I did it. Um, you can Google or either Alicia or somebody might would message you since she's a coach and she can tell you all about it. So I'm giving it a whirl. I'm only on day two, but I'm not hungry. I'm, I'm, and normally y'all, I could eat the house down. I mean, I, I, I just can't like to eat. Yes, Lori, he has. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can do whatever color. I'm kind of going in this, uh, not I guess fallish kind of palette. I guess. Um. So we'll do, let's do the King's Gold. This is, yeah, King's Gold from Apple Barrel. And then the other colors I'm going to use um, is Terracotta and Blush Brown from Anita's. Because 
I mixed them together and I'll show you the color I got, but um, I just I like to mix colors. Hey, Wendy, you're okay. Yeah, that's what I said, Misty, we're twinning today. And this is Crocodile from Folk Art. I just wanted like a earthy green. <clears throat> and this is Burnt Umber. So you use whatever colors you want to. This is like super, I tell y'all, super scientific. Denise, I started, it's called Octavia. But you do, you do have to buy their little prepackaged foods, but you have your whole food, all your stuff for the whole month, except for your suppers. Um, okay, so there's Alicia. So if you want to click on her name and message her, she says she'd be glad to tell you about it. Um, but so far, I'm on day two, and I'm doing good. Yeah, I mean, Donna, it is, it's, it is kind of costly because you have to buy, you're, but you're buying a whole month of food. So if you were going to the grocery store, and buying food for like me and my husband, I'd probably spend more than that. Hey, Linda. Okay, so um, I put my put some water in my plate, and I've got the King's Gold, and I probably don't have enough water because I like it kind of watery. Um, so I'm just gonna mix up, and I make it looks like mustard, <laughs> watery mustard. That stuff that comes out when you first open the mustard. Okay, so. All I'm gonna do is I'm just going to paint one side with this water paint mixture because I still want to be able to see the words through the paint. I don't want to cover them up. So like today I did all these pages I'm gonna show you with these different colors and I had them laying all out on my table <laughs> under the fan and they were blowing off and I was like, ah! So I was putting all kinds of stuff on top of them to get them to stay down. <laughs> Okay, and I'm only doing one side on these. I've done them before, and I showed y'all when I did the little pill bottle things. Um, and I did both sides on those, so it's up to you what you want to do. I just did one, um, one side of mine. So you set those aside, and you let them dry. Real, real scientific, okay? It's like watercolor painting when you were a kid. All right, so this is what you end up with. Is this... This color right here is this terracotta. And then I put a little bit of this blush brown because it was a little too orangey for me. So I just toned it down with that blush brown. And that's what I get. So I did like this many of those. And then crocodile is this real pretty green. Looks like a kid did it, right? <laughs> um, Uh-oh. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, if I see it again, I'll take care of it. All right, so then there's green. Here's the King's Gold. I already used part of that paper. Hey, Sandy. Um, this is burnt umber with a lot of water. It looks, it almost looks, I don't know. It doesn't look like burnt umber, does it? <laughs> hey, Marcy, you waving at me? So that's burnt umber and then I have King's Gold. All right, thank you, Dana. Dana just messaged me and said, I'll take care of it when I get off, but it's fine. Um, so anyway, so there is the King's Gold. So I kind of did like a fall kind of assortment of colors. All right, so this is what we're going to do. I've already done some, but we're going to show it. I know, Wendy, I love the green. It's called Crocodile by Folk Art, but it's almost like an olive. It looks like Crocodile. It's really pretty. So anyway, so now, what we're gonna do, it's real scientific. Okay, so I'm gonna put, you can do two, three, whatever pages that you want together like this. This is just easiest way that I know how to do it. And I fold it in half. And the pattern that I use for my flowers, I've already done, because I was trying to think I don't want them so big that they're just overpowering my hoop. I want them kind of small. So I used the bottle bottom like this, and I basically just, just did a circle around. Doesn't have to be perfect. And in fact, if you want to do some bigger, some smaller, you can, because that's going to work to your advantage in a minute. Okay. 
So there are my circles. And um, thank you, Nancy. You're going to have to get that crocodile. Yeah, it's pretty. Um, so anyway, so, and I'm rough, roughly cutting them out. Like, I'm not even trying to stay in the lines. I'm just, that's just kind of my guide. So you're cutting through all the layers. And you'll have a whole bunch of little circles. Like I said, don't worry about it being perfect because we don't want it to be perfect. All right. So, I mean, it's not even a circle at this point. See? So, just, just roughly do it. That's just kind of a guide. Hey, thank you, Betty. All right. Uh-oh. Somebody's being grouchy. Oh well, maybe maybe she can we can give her some some um some joy here. Yes, yeah, somebody says something about chatting. I like to chat with my friends, but I am crafting and moving at the same time and reading comments. So yeah, this is a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> it takes lots of practice. Um, but yes, we I like to chat with my friends, so be okay. You can always come back and watch the replay and fast forward through it. Um yeah, it takes a lot to do this. It really does. But it's okay. I hope you get some joy out of this. Okay, so now I've got all these circles, right? And some of them are bigger than others. All that good stuff. So, I'm just going to grab up a few, maybe four, okay? Like this. And I'm going to make a little stack. And then, I'm going to just go around and make slits but i'm not going all the way to the center i'm just going a little ways in because we don't want to go all the way to the center and then cut all the way through on the other side does that make sense <laughs> so you end up with i don't know if y'all can see but see they're not all the way to the center okay um so now i've got that I'm going to unstack them. That's important because you don't want the lines to all mess, meet together. Okay, so I'm going to take my glue gun and I'm going to put a little dot in the middle. Whoop, and get the glue string and it flies off. And then I'm just going to lay another one on top. And another one on top of that. And another one on top of that. So you could do three, you could do two, you could do four, five. So see, they're, they're all not, I don't know if you can see, but they're all not the same size, so they're all different. Um, thank y'all very much for that. <laughs> um, I like chatting with y'all. I consider y'all my friends. And, I mean, there's you can go to YouTube and watch stuff where nobody's chatting. And, yeah, I like to chat. This is where some people, their interaction they get for the day, and that's okay. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just kind of taking the little petals as you know, where we cut the slits, and then I'm just kind of, you know, zhuzhing them up or well, I don't know, ruffling them up, I guess. So they kind of stand up like this. So they look like a little flower. Now I realize something else I didn't get, but I can grab it. Okay, so there is one of our flowers, okay? Now, you can use, um, I'm going to use floral wire. You can use uh, shish kebab sticks for this part. Um, I'll probably, let's see, let's do, I'm going to do one with the shish kebab stick first. And then we're going to go to um, the wire. So, it's, it's whatever you want to do. Okay. So, now I've got my green, okay. Now, with this stick, you could, you could take the green and paint this green. But I'm gonna want all my flowers to look the same. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. So I'm cutting off that edge. And then I'm gonna just cut a little strip of paper of the book page about like this. Little bitty. Yeah, right? How boring would it be if I just sat here and never talked to anybody? Let me all do this end. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little hot glue up here at the top. And then I've got my green, and I'm going to take off that part that's white. And then I'm just going to stick it on here and get it, to, get it to go. 
That's right, Terry. That's what I said. Sometimes people, uh, you know, that don't get out, they don't have any interaction with anybody else. Okay, so all I'm doing is this. I'm just going down my stick and just wrapping the stick, basically. But like I said, you can make it... Um, you could paint it green, but I just kind of still wanted to stay with the same theme. Oh, y'all are so sweet. Okay, so see, that's what it's going to look like. It's just going to be covered with the book page. Um, and I would do the wire the same way. Throw this away. So now I'm going to take my little flower. And I'm going to put some glue on the back. I think I'm going to do it this way. So I'm going to lay it down with the glue up. And then I'm just going to take my stick and lay it right in the glue. But then I'm going to put some glue on top and we're going to sit there and let it do its thing. Oh, I know, Karen. Thank y'all very much. And I appreciate y'all being here because it wouldn't be my page. It wouldn't be a page if I, if I was had no one. And I love um, talking with y'all because it's never been a problem with me to talk. <laughs> so anyway, so I'm going to let that set a second. Um, and I'm going to grab my buttons because y'all know I got to have some buttons. I got tons and tons and tons of buttons and I got to grab my jar because I totally forgot about it, that I needed something for the inside of my flowers. And I get back in this big chair. Okay. I got stuff. So this is what they look like when they come from the Dollar Tree. I know y'all are always, I always tell y'all about them, but this is what they look like at the Dollar Tree. So if you ever see them. I try to get them all the time when I see them. All right, so I'm going to try to find, I just want a brown one because I want like the center to be like a sunflower. <laughs> Is that what she said, stick to the craft? I, I, I don't think I've stopped crafting since I started, but okay. When Dorothy goes live, we're all going to go watch. Y'all want to? Um, cause this is, this is not as easy as it looks. It takes lots of practice. Go back and watch my very first videos and you'll see that it takes practice. Um, okay. So there's my little flower and I'm going to take my little brown button and I'm just going to put him right, let's do this, <laughs> right in the center. And you can use anything you want to. You can paint the middle brown. You can do anything you want to. Um, Okay, so there it is. You don't see the buttons anymore? Debbie, I do. It's hit and miss. I don't see them a lot like I used to see them. I am Mary. I'm just moving on. Maybe she'll get happy. Okay, so what I did is I took one of the green pages, and we're going to make some leaves. So you're going to cut a parenthesis, and then you're going to cut another parenthesis, Nothing scientific, I promise. It's just, you just, you look at mine. They're not perfect, I promise. I didn't get, you know, an A in scissor, scissors in crafting in school. But this is what my leaves look like. See, they're just, they just need to look like leaves. <laughs> so, I'm going to take just a little bit, put a dot of blue, and put it on my stick. So see, they got the writing on them too. So all of it looks cohesive and everything looks the same. I just like book pages. I think they just look super cool. See how this looks? Look how cute this is. Yeah, they're near the checkouts at my Dollar Tree and they, they're usually on the bottom shelf where all that stuff is. It's, mine are always on the bottom. Um, when I see them and they have colored and they have black. Look how stinking cute this little flower is. Like I teach y'all another one. Um, so, but I need to, I should have done the color I don't have already. But anyway, um, so I'm gonna, I am, I'm gonna do one more because I don't have this color. I want to do one this color. <laughs> Down in my heart, Rhonda. <laughs> okay, so this was the terracotta and the blush brown because the terracotta was way too orange from what I wanted, so I mixed the two colors. Um, yes, Vicki, this is the leftover canvas part, and I made like a pocket, and I put cardboard on the back, and so we're going to put all these little flowers in here. Um, 
but I used my bottle, but I'm not even going to do that because I think I can just about eyeball about how big it is. And we're going to cut out some more flowers. But you see how many this will make just by just cutting out all these little circles. You can have a whole bunch of flowers because, look, I still have all of these left for yellow flowers. And let's do one more. Oh, Mary, you're so sweet. Y'all are all so sweet to me. I, I couldn't ask for better people. I really couldn't. And I'm so glad that y'all are here and y'all found me. Okay. So now I've got all these little pieces again. They're different sizes, but look, that color is just fabulous. It's like a muted orange, fallish color. That one's stuck together. Okay. So I'm just going to take just different sizes and stack them again. And you could do as many as you want to. You don't have to do four or three or just do what you want. And so I got this little bundle of them. See, they're all just different. Yeah, I don't think, Ramon, I do too. I think they put them all in different, different stores, put them in different spots. I don't know. They just stick it somewhere sometimes. Okay, so I just made slits all the way around. So that, and then you've got all these little petals, so to speak. And then I'm gonna unstack it. And then I'm gonna glue. Hey, Lou, you're okay? I'm just glad you're here. Hey, Holly. Oh, is everybody live tonight? Bunch of people? Okay. So, now, got my little flowers all stacked. Okay, and then I'm just going to kind of... Oh, Sandy, you are so sweet. Okay. Yeah, Becky, I'm just using... It's just a pocketbook. Just a, you know, little pocketbook is all it is. Oh, there's a flower. Um, you're okay, Holly? Thank you, Donna. Okay, so I'm just kind of ruffling it up, making it to where all the little petals will kind of stick out on their own. Sometimes you have to lay it down and just kind of do your thing. Last time I did these, I kind of crunched them up and they looked like little, uh, whoop, lost a petal, dandelion little things. Oh, thank you, Mary, you're so sweet. Okay, now, so I'm gonna show you the ones I, we did this with the stick, but I'm gonna show you with the wire. All right, so I'm taking my wire. Hey, Lorraine, good, I'm glad you're here. Okay, so I'm just gonna bend it in half. Hey, Marcia. Okay, so there it is. And then I'm just gonna kind of somehow twist them together so I don't have a whole bunch of stuff going on. So if you have floral wire, you can use, um, Shish kebab sticks, just whatever you have. Pipe cleaners would probably work. You could just do this with the pipe cleaners and then you could wrap them if you wanted to with the book page. Okay, same thing. I'm gonna cut my little strip because I'm gonna cover up that wire and get rid of that. And I'm gonna put glue on the paper this time. So I'm not gonna start at the tippy top because the flower's gonna go up there careful not to burn yourself. Faith, I'd just like to explain because I would want somebody to explain it to me. I want to know what they're doing and how they're doing it. And, you know, I want to know all the things. <laughs> sometimes I feel like I over explain, but sometimes even this stuff that I think is simple, somebody else may not have not ever seen it before. And they want to know. And I want you to know because you know, there's no secrets. There's, I mean, knowledge is not power anymore. You, you can find anything you want to on how to do something on the internet. Okay, so I just wrapped it. It looks kind of rough, but that's okay. I don't, I'm fine with that. So there's my little tab, and I'm just going to dot it, and then I'm going to just fold it over and hold it a second. Oh, yeah, you did the book sheet, Angels. That's cool. I did some of those last year. year. Tippy top. <laughs> Dawn, you laughing at me because I said that the tippy top? The tippy top? It's not the regular top. It's the tippy top. <laughs> okay, so here's my little flower. And I think my flower needs a button. So let's find a button. Just I'm just grabbing a brown one. And... 
put a dot on there. Whoop, that's why I, didn't, I should have put it on the paper and not on the button because I dropped it right on the pedals. Hey, Dorothy. You needs a lot of explaining, Rhonda. <laughs> Sometimes I do too. All right. It's not fun just watching somebody do something. I want somebody to talk to me. So there's my little button in the middle. Same thing, I'm gonna flip it over and on the back, I'm just gonna put like a glob of glue. So that's why we have a loop there because you need something for the for the glue to hold on to. So you have two instead of one. So that's why you loop it. Cause that glue has got to have something uh, substantial. Thank you, Jonna. So I'm just kind of sitting there holding it till it sets up and I'll show you all the flowers I've already done today. This one is the burnt umber. It looks, it almost looks like lavender, doesn't it? But it's not, it's burnt umber and see the leaves. And then, um, that's when we did a minute ago. And then I did a green one, but I got to put centers in the middle. Um, those are the only two I've done today. Oh, you use some of the same things. I know, it's funny. I don't know if it's a Southern thing. Okay. All right, so there's that little flower. He's so sweet. And then um, I live in um, North Mississippi, like right below Memphis. I'm right there on the line. I can be in Memphis in like 15 minutes. Okay, so now this is my my leaves. <laughs> so I'm just keep folding my paper to find, you know, to put the pieces together. Let's get rid of all this. Get out of my way. All right. And I'm just going to fold it to where I can cut. And you're just going to cut two parentheses. That's it. Nothing fantastic. One parenthesis and then turn it and then do another one. So you have that. Easy peasy. We just want them to look like leaves. We don't, we're not trying to make a leaf, but we just want them to look like leaves, okay? Y'all know me, I don't have, where did that leaf come from? Um, nothing scientific over here. <laughs> Sherry, you like my Southern accent? All right, so there it is. So I'm gonna take just the little tip of my flower and I'm gonna put glue right on it. And then we're gonna put it to the back of the little stick or the wire or whatever that we covered with the book pages. See how cute? Look how cute this is gonna be in our little, um, our little pocket. You could do this for spring, you could do this you could do it at Christmas. This part, you could do it at Christmas and do a Christmas napkin and put Christmas greenery in that. How pretty would that be? So you could do it for any season. So there's my things. Let's put another leaf on him. Let's just put, let's put, give him three. Make it a little different. Okay, so there's that. Because we're going to all put them down in this pocket. But I got to have do this. Got to have buttons for these. Let's put, let's put a cream colored in the middle of this one. Yeah, I'm almost in Tennessee. Somebody just said, yes. I mean, I can be in Tennessee in just a matter of about 10 minutes from my house. Thank you, Mary. Yeah, Claudia, of course I'm an Elvis fan, um, but I'm not, I, well, I'm not originally from here, but my mother was a huge Elvis fan, and I grew up that way, and of course I loved him, and the movie was awesome, so if you haven't seen the Elvis movie, you need to see it. It's wonderful. All right, so there's my flowers, but how cute are these going to look all together in our little pocket, and then we have the yellow, and I have another, I thought I did a yellow one today. Okay, but I'm going to show you how to make another kind of flower that we're going to put um, in our little pocket, too. Where is... Okay. Do y'all do that, too? Do y'all look at your craft table and go, I lost it. I can't find it. It went somewhere. 
Um, okay. So here is this wire again, like this. So I'm just gonna pinch it again, like this. And we're not gonna be gluing the top of this to anything, so it's totally fine. Um, so we don't have to worry about a big loop, but I'm just gonna wrap it again. Same thing. Oh, you're gonna make these tomorrow, Kathy? Yeah, I mean, you. I know you've probably got a book that you use or a coloring book or something and some paint and water and sticks, whatever, pipe cleaners. Okay, so now we got this. Okay, and move the button. So I'm gonna take what color do I need? Let's do the let's do the the orangey brown color. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna cut the edge off where there's no paint, and then I'm gonna cut about not quite an inch of a strip. So like this, okay. And then I'm going to um, I'm just gonna go down and cut slits in it. Almost, not quite, to the edge. And I'm just, just making it look like a comb, almost. If that makes any sense. <laughs> That's the best way I know how to describe it. I'm going faster, Vicky. <laughs> I guess that lady got me all flustered up and thinking I was um, chatting too much. Oh yeah, chopsticks, Susan. Okay, so see, I've cut them, all these little slits, okay? That one, look at that one, it's almost through. So I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna kinda ruffle it up again like I did the other ones. Okay, all right. So that's how it looks, okay? Don't look like much. So now I'm going to tear that piece off that don't have any paint on it. Um, I'm just gonna put a little dot glue. And let me let that sit there a minute and hold. Hey Ellen, we are making, I used the piece of a canvas to make this pocket with embroidery hoop. And now we're making little book page flowers that's gonna go in my little, um, in my little pocket. Okay, so here we are. And I'm just, I'm gonna start just doing like I did with the green. I'm just gonna start going down and wrapping it down. And every once in a while, I'm gonna stop and do a little dot of glue. And then I'm just gonna keep wrapping around. So then you have all these little things that stick out. Hang on. Kinda have to hold your mouth right to do these. <laughs> You're worn out from all of the singing. <laughs> Thank you, Jill. Okay. I'm putting a dot, doing that, okay. Oh no, emergency eye surgery, Jennifer. Oh my goodness, well, prayers for him. I hope everything turns out okay. Okay, so now we got these little, I don't, I don't know what they are. <laughs> I just kind of uh, did something. But see, I've got all these little colors, just like I have the other flowers. And I thought, well, this might be something, a little accent, like to stick in my flowers or something to that effect. Yeah, here's my, I knew I had another yellow flower. I'm going crazy. So anyway, so there's my little, that's that little flower. Okay, so uh, let me put, I gotta put a center in the middle of this one. And let's find a brown button. Okay, I see you, Rhonda, and you are enough too. All of y'all are enough. Y'all don't, don't get me on my soapbox about that. <laughs> don't let anybody tell you that you're not enough, because you are. 
Uh, yes, Callie. Now, that's kind of where I got that technique from is because it looks like lavender if you keep it looped. And I just kind of didn't keep it looped. Okay, so there's my yellow one I made today. But see how the book pages... I know y'all can't see that glue string. But the book page stems, it all just kind of looks cohesive. I want it to look the same. Snapdragons. Yeah, like little fillers. That's right, Vicky. Okay, so now... I gotta see how this is all gonna go and see if they can all fit in here. Then I gotta figure out um, Okay, all right, I think I got it. And this would look totally pretty if you did book pages on this and something. It would look awesome. You could use your rubber stamps, stamp a phrase on here Y'all, the possibilities are endless, but this is just this canvas. I mean, let's just use it. Okay, so now I'm on. This table is going to be a hot mess when I get it done. Um, hey, Linda, you're okay. You can always watch the replay. You're fine. Thank you for being here. Okay, so I'm going to take some moss, and y'all know this stuff gives me the. Because <laughs> it makes such a mess and I just cut mine because if you start pulling it'll just pull out a whole bunch um and I'm just gonna poke it down in there to give my little sticks um the print on the canvas is uh it's a napkin that I had and I mod podged it to it and it makes it a lot more stiffer like I don't know if y'all can hear it but the mod podge dries and makes it stiff I know you can make, that's, that's the kind of crafts I love y'all is where you just take something that didn't cost you a thing and that, I, that's what does it for me. I, I just like it. Look, there's a, there's a pine piece of pine straw in there. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I'm just going to keep kind of poking some moss and I want some to kind of stick out too because I don't want to be able to see it. I do love the way that the moss looks. Yeah, thank y'all. It is a napkin. But you could put floral foam down in there if you could cut it small enough. <laughs> yeah, Sonia, you know how I love this moss. Okay. So there's my moss. Let me hold it back here where the light doesn't make it a different color. Okay. All right. So... Now I've got to figure out this, this, this. And this one's on a stick, so it kind of looks, y'all look, I'm pulling moss everywhere. Um, looks different than the rest of them. Is that all of them? No. Look. If you were gonna get lost, this craft table would probably be a good place to start because there's so much, oh, there it is. I thought I had, was missing. Hey, Robin. <laughs> Judy, you don't know how to come up with these ideas. Well, I did these flowers a little different not too long ago, but I don't know. My brain just does weird stuff sometimes. It's, it's a scary place sometimes. Where are my wire cutters? Here they are. You're about an hour from Memphis. Go north. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut these off. That's going to help me out some. Okay. So then I'm just going to start. And of course, you know, I'm just going to push my moss down in there. There's, there's one. So I'm getting there. And we'll cut this one off. Yeah, only purchase if it's clean. That's right. Because it has like. If you come to the south and you think you want to pick some Spanish moss out of a tree that's like real Spanish moss, um, it's got mites and stuff in it. So don't do that. I saw somebody just post that. All right, look at, I love this color. I think it just turned out so pretty. Yeah, Sh Sharon, you can always go back and watch the replay. Um, I'm just poking my little, all right, this is so far. Look how cute they are. Um, 
So let's see the stick. All right, hold on. Where's my, there he is. I knew I was missing something. Let's get him up high. I'm just cutting my wire off. All right, this is the kind of the burnt umber, but it doesn't even look burnt umber, okay? I don't know why, I just did it a little paint and a lot of water. But look how stinking cute this is. And you can put them high and low, however you want to do it. I'm gonna cut, let me just break this stick right here. Okay, see, that's the, that's the shish kebab stick. So you can use your shish kebab stick, you can use pipe cleaners. Um, and you can just wrap the pipe cleaners with the um, book page like I showed you. You just kind of go all around. Um, that's it so far. Look how stinking adorable this is. But, and honestly, it would look cute if you didn't even paint the flowers. It would look cute if you left it the book page colors. I, I mean, I could just see it done so many different ways. It's just crazy. Okay. The struggle was. All right, so these are my little, I'm gonna kind of just poke them in the back just for like somebody said a little filler. So when you see in between there, Lakeview Lake, it sounds familiar. Horn, I live in Horn Lake right down the road. Linda, you live in Horn Lake? You're not far from me. You're in the same county as me. Okay. So I'm just, like I said, I'm just poking these little swizzle sticks or whatever they look like. Y'all know those little swizzle sticks that's got the toothpicks with the little confetti stuff on the top? <laughs> that's what they look like. <laughs> I don't know. They're my made up flowers. I don't know. Just something for a little bit of a, um, I mean, you might not even be able to see them, but I don't know. I just thought it might need something because I hadn't put this together yet. So, so I didn't know um, if I was going to need something in between. And you could just do flowers and put flowers in there. You see, you can't even really see them. Look how stinking cute this is. But you could, can't y'all see Christmas and like Christmas, um, not necessarily the flowers, but like put some uh, Christmas greenery the pine greenery in it and some berries i mean there's so many ways you can do this so you can save some of your canvases for christmas time that's right pam kindness matters it does that lady while ago probably just didn't read my shirt y'all but it's okay i hope she gets in a better mood a little something something jill yes okay so there's that. See, look how stinking cute they are. Y'all can do this. It's that simple. But to see the back, you can see all my little swizzle sticks from the back. <laughs> I know, Wendy, we would craft up a storm, I'm telling you. I, but I, yeah, I honestly, honestly, I know y'all think, oh, well, she just sits around and crafts all day. I really don't. Um, I do the cutting all day. My, my lasers, there's another piece of pine straw. And um, I craft when I come on here with y'all. It's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Um, look how cute, my little swizzle stick. Okay, you can kind of see them back there, I guess. Um, hey, Joan from Ireland. And you can glue them in if you want to, or you can t change this out. Um, but now I'm gonna attempt something. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna work. Um, I saw Talisa Lindsay. I don't know if y'all follow her. Saw her do a bow the other day, and I was like, I can do that. And then Stephanie with Windy City Crafts did a bow with some rag stuff the other day, and I thought, okay, I can do that too. Um, maybe. We'll see. But, so I just got some, this is like a checkered pattern. I think I made Chase, when he was a, he was little, I made him like a, John John or something out of this this material. It's like checkerboard, but it's um, it's got it's beige. All right, so I'm just cutting me some uh, strips, and then I've got just a regular 
it's like an off-white color, muslin color. Let me take that one out and put one of these in. I'm going to try this because I don't know if this is going to work. All right. So, I'm gonna, so she took it. Stephanie, her bow, took it and they made like a... It may not be long enough because I'm not a bow person. She makes them all the time. Yes, she does. And then Stephanie with Windy City Crafts did one. And she made one. And I thought, oh, I can try that. So I just looped it together like that. And then I'm going to take another piece of this stuff. And I'm going to tie this on. Yeah, I think I need some rag bow lesson. Because I can't do it. <laughs> but I'm going to try. At least try. We'll see. <laughs> Thank you, Wendy. Y'all are sweet. If y'all saw me during the day, you'd probably go, girl, because I look like a little a little rat up in here. I don't I just put a hat on and I'll just work all day. Okay, what is a John John? Gail, it's like the little boys outfit when they're little and they're like shorts, but it's one piece and it, it goes over the shoulders and has buttons up here on the shoulders. I went to a class and learned how to make those when Chase was real little, and uh, I made him one out of that material. Um, so yeah, some of this material I've had for a very long time. But, but yeah, I went to class and learned how to make them. Y'all know, it's like a, a unisuit for a boy, but it buttons up at the top. So that we just, that's what it's called. It's called like a John John or whatever. I don't know. Awareness bow. Oh yeah, and you squish it in the middle. So I'm doing, I'm cheating kinda, cause I'm just taking these, these are gonna be my tails. And I'm just kinda doing them this way. And this may not even look good on here. I'm just gonna have to see what it's gonna look like. So now I've got this. And y'all honestly tell me if it's gonna look awful because I don't, I don't, um, Y'all are not going to hurt my feelings. I promise. So then I'm going to take another piece and let's tie this on. But I do the messy bows all the time. And I know everybody's like, oh gosh, that's all she knows how to do. Oh no, Charlene, I don't. A jumper. Yeah, Carol, it's like a jumper. Um, short all, yeah. We just call them John Johns or everybody has a different name for them. Oh, thank you, Gina. Over, overall shorts, but yeah, I learned how to line them and put the, set the buttons in and the buttons in the, they have the buttons in the crotch area for, the, you know, for kids that are in diapers. So they do all that. I learned all of that. It was fun. It was a sewing class and I made several of them for him and I still have them. Okay. So, so far, but I can trim it. Okay. So don't worry. But I was thinking about just like putting it over to the side like this. I don't want to cover up my flowers, but I do want to put my bow over here. The Walton's warm, Judy. <laughs> I, do, I was not a Walton's watcher. <laughs> Lay the tails on before you tie your bow. Yeah, I guess I could have done that, Should, couldn't I? I should have, a romper, that's a good, that's a good thing for it, yes. So, like this. Somebody said I would cut the loops, Kathy said. So, it, is it okay right there? Because I can't put it up here, but I think over to the side, kind of over cocked to the side, is kind of cute. But, all right. Look at my pretty bow, Judy said. Here we go. It's going on. Hold it on there. Like Angus Young at ACDC. <laughs> yeah, kind of like that, but it comes up to here. And, you know, it's got, it's not like suspender straps. But, yeah, I know what you're talking about, what he wears. I'm a, I'm a hard rock girl, too. I like all that hair bands and 80s hair bands and all that stuff. Okay, now I'm going to get strings way up here. Trim some of them off because it's way too long. Strings, strings. Ta-da! 
I know that camera, the light makes it look crazy. That looks good, doesn't it? Okay, so if you want to, you could put this on like a little easel, prop it up on your tray or whatever. And, but you could just take a piece like this or either some jute and let me get it through here and put it through that little, the screw part of the embroidery hoop. And we could totally just make a little tie like this. And just hang it up and it would look adorable. And you could hang it like, I'm trying to do stuff in my bedroom. And I was thinking, um, like if you have one of those shelves that's got like the little hooks on it, like in your entryway or something, I was thinking of something like that in my bedroom, but and hang this on it, how sweet would this be? Very, so pretty. But can't y'all see Christmas? And I wasn't gonna overwhelm y'all with uh, another Christmas craft tonight. But like what I was saying here on this, this part, I was thinking I should have got some trim or something and glued right there. But you, you know, you can do so much to this. And like I said, if you have any kind of napkin will work, but even if you just used book, a book page and put over this and you could paint the book page, you could do whatever or tear, you could tear a bunch of book page into pieces like y'all seen me do and then glue them all down on this. That would look awesome. That would look so awesome, I think. So just the sky is the limit and you just do, you know, do your own thing. But the Dollar Tree has those, the bamboo rings. I don't know if y'all seen them. You could do this with just those and you just have to glue your, your uh, canvas piece to the ring. You can make it work if you have those rings. Um, I do too, Judy, I like it. Hanging from a peg shelf, Kathy, that's what it is. It's a peg shelf, like your entryway where you would hang stuff, you know, and people hang decorative things on it instead of useful things. <laughs> this would be so pretty hanging on um, a peg shelf or something like that. Oh, Marcita, y'all are so sweet. A button in the middle of the bow. Let's just see. See, y'all see little details that I don't see the right one okay like that let me hold it back where y'all can see oh thank you sandra music paper yes michelle music paper would be so pretty but i just i know i love doing the book pages this way and y'all look how many more book pages i have I don't know what I thought that we were going to be making a whole meadow of pages tonight, but I've got, and these are the ones that we did that's already dried. <laughs> so yeah, I've got all this. I got all these circles over here that I can make flowers with. So I don't know what I thought that we were going to make a meadow, <laughs> a big pocket. <laughs> and you can make these flowers, y'all make them, you can make them big and do like seven or eight layers and make them really big. I mean, you don't have to do them small. So do, I mean, the sky's the limit. Yes, put the button. Okay, I'm gonna put the button. Newspaper, yes. And Sandy, did you know that Julie Signs and Designs is in my same town? And she and I are gonna meet up at some point um, we just haven't been able to. She was on vacation and stuff. Um, night, Gloria. And so we are going to meet up because she lives in my same town, which is super cool. And I cannot wait to meet her. So then I'll have two crafty friends that's in my town because Cindy with Art Shattered, um, she, um, she's right up the street too. Now you need to dig out your hoops, Jean. Okay, there's my, there's my button on my bow. Now it is complete. Let me get my flowers to act all straight. But you could like do this and change them out for the seasons. In the spring, you could do 
pastels and change them out and you know take the whole, everything out at Christmas and put Christmas greenery in it um, yeah I think the button looks cute on the bow it looks really cute so cute sometimes it's the little details right it's all about the little something somethings that you add to it that kind of make it all just kind of pop and go together kind of like the buttons on the flowers you could paint the centers put some bling in the middle there's so many um, Oh, Jill, yes, you could do that with Q-tips. Yes, Deborah, look at Deborah. She's like making the big ones and she's gonna string it over her fireplace already. She's, see, I love this when y'all get inspired and then y'all just start going and going and going with it. And that's, that's what creativity is all about, is that you see somebody else do something and then you're like, oh, but it would look really cool if we did this and we did this and you know, that's your brain digging up something that you saw one time and then you're just adding this idea to it. And that's what I do. Y'all ask me how I come up with stuff. That's where it comes up. I mean, it's because it, I see something and then I'm like, oh, I could do this and use this and use this and that's how it is. And, um, but that's, that's when I know that it was a good craft because y'all are so inspired that you're just, y'all are just rattling off all the things like, oh, we could do this, we could add this, we could do this, we could hang it, make it, make it big, and make it little, we could, you know, that's when it's like, oh, yes, 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 because that's what I want to do is inspire you. Because um, like I posted not too long ago, if everybody would look for stuff to inspire them, we wouldn't have time for stuff to offend us at all. And so that's just what I'm trying to do here on my little corner of, Facebook is just to inspire somebody, you know, to just have some joy because this brings me joy. It may be paper and books and paint and whatever, but, um, I, this just brings me joy. Um, cause you, when you do this, you're present in the moment. I'm here with y'all talking to y'all. I'm not worried about other stuff. I'm worried about my next step and what's going next and what's going to happen and that's, that's what I love because my brain, I don't have time to think about my worries and my troubles. That all kind of fades away when you start creating something. Even if nobody ever sees it, it's okay as long as it makes you happy. And it doesn't have to be expensive. Book pages, newspaper, magazines, anything like that you have. The little stuff that comes in the mail, the little flyers and stuff. Use that. Oh, y'all are so sweet. <laughs> but um, but it brings me joy when y'all just start, oh, we can do this and this and this and this and this and this. And then I see it in the group and something y'all took this and did it on some other level. And I'm like, whoa, look at that. It just blows me away. Thank you, Kathy. I, I try to be. I mean, y'all are uplifting too to me because um, it just, I, I'm telling you, y'all are more blessing to me than, than I am to y'all. I can tell you because there's not a day that goes by that I'm not blessed in some form or fashion by some, one of you somewhere, somehow, something. Um, thank you, Donna. Thank you, Jane. But yes, if you can just be inspired to be creative and just do something. If it's only for you, it'd be okay. Yep, Lisa, me too. This is my therapy right here. That's why when I get stressed, I just have to... I'll come in here and paint on a canvas. That's my relief. I like to paint on a canvas. Um, but this is my stress relief. And I sometimes I can feel it building up. It's like I'll come out here and paint till two o'clock in the morning on a weekend or something, just just to be by myself. Oh, Judy, you're so sweet. Thank you, Vicky. I try, and in some of those posts, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> um, I try to be Nancy. I'm trying to be a light, and I I think that's what God called me to do. And um, Yes, Wendy, and y'all have been pretty behaved tonight. <laughs> We've all been behaving. Oh, thank you, Judy. Y'all are sweet. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to hop off, and I sure hope that y'all try these simple little cute flowers. I, I just, I mean, y'all, it's so cute. I just can't help it. You're welcome, Jean. 
then Donna, I have my days just like everybody else where it's just like, I, you know, and today I felt like I was just spinning my wheels all day, <laughs> but it's just one of those days. But yes, we encourage each other with creativity. Linda, that's exactly right. And people that don't create, I don't, I don't know. I couldn't make it. I would bust. <laughs> The buttons on the, the lanterns. Um, they are, they're upholstery tacks that I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby. And I cut the tack part off and I just glued them on. But that's what they are. They're upholstery tacks. And you can find the little ones and stuff, but those are like decorative. And they were on clearance at Hobby Lobby. So that's the only reason I bought them. Um, Kim, I am. And that's going to be information on the dotting class is going to be, oh, I then lost something. It's going to be coming up um, about the middle of the month. Oh, y'all are so sweet to me, though. I, I mean, I just like to, to inspire and show you what can be done with very little stuff. And then you have this. I mean, it's just amazing just to see what you can create with very little. <laughs> Thank y'all very much. Night, Debbie. All right, guys, I am going to hop off. I love y'all, and I thank y'all for being here um, and being, just being here, being present and coming in my craft room twice a week and sitting down and chatting and watching and laughing. Um, I did this, Lori. I used the canvas, the canvases from the lanterns to make this little pocket. And then we made all these little paper flowers and a rag bow and all of that. So you can watch the replay. Hey, Sheila, you're still live. You still got me live, but I'm fixing to hop off guys. Love y'all. See y'all Monday night and y'all have a good safe weekend and stay cool because it's hot. All right, guys. See you later. Bye. Thanks for watching.